This is my career. <laughs> my career in 2020, I'm gonna be here. <laughs>identified that there were quite a large number of young people that weren't progressing successfully. A large number of young people with special educational needs who were getting to 16 and not having a positive progression route. So the transition project has been about identifying those young people and supporting them early enough in their education career. Our cohort is of uh, young people that have almost without exception been in mainstream primaries but the gap between them and their peers in terms of their learning, their social relationships, their sense of self is, has got larger and larger. It's not a question of, I didn't get the grades, I can't do my A-levels, oh dear, what am I going to do? It's about saying, okay, you're working at a different level, but you're gonna be going on a different pathway, and this pathway is gonna support you into that training and into employment. big push towards uh, getting students to understand that this is now a serious alternative to university. They need to be given all the opportunities that all students get um, and that's why creating this partnership with the schools involved in the borough has been key to the progression for these young people. It's about talking to them about what they would like to do um, and it always surprises me how mature um, whoever our young person is about how they feel and what they feel and how honest they can be about the skills that they need to go out into the workplace. Allowing them to take a bit longer to find their talents as well as their well documented, address their well documented difficulties to get back into the mainstream of life which for everybody is employment. The big prize is actually young people being able to lead independent lives. I think the biggest challenge um, is that for every young person and every student, you know, they're, they're an individual and as such they require kind of really tailored support. I think what we need to do more of is to, um, is for employers to see it from the, from the student's point of view as well. Um, so I think increasingly, you know, we're looking to encourage employers and apprenticeship providers to come into schools, to come into youth clubs, um, and to kind of engage with young people so that they're aware of their situation. And you have to be willing to roll with it. You can't just be like, oh my God, this is the end of the world. We have to, you know, think of what's right for our kids and what's right for our, ch our pupils and... Bellwater's done very well at finding courses that um, are now going to be tailored at a lower level. That's the ultimate aim of the project, is to increase participation in education at the right level for the right student. It's really making sure that you understand the young person beyond that, beyond that categorisation of them. What is it that that young person responds to and needs to be doing? And if they have an interest, a vocational, an interest in a vocational area, for example, construction, or, or in business, whatever it might be, it's making sure that you find the right course for them. It's also paramount to embed uh, English and maths within the core curriculum. Uh, students get scared when you mention English and maths and they don't necessarily want to pick up a pen. Um, but if you're 
getting them to do their English and maths through their vocational area, for example, through business, um, you've got more chance of getting them to engage and to be successful. Skills, what skills you need, you need like, when you're working at shop, you might need math skills, communication skills, like you're communicating, and, and writing skills. We're a team, we work as a team. Yeah. Someone's not in, we rely on each other. And the guys in the back always rely on us. Yep. When they know that the school has that approach to their, to their child, um, and you've built a level of trust with them through the work that you've been doing in the school, in our case going into the school and running programmes, um, it tends to generally go quite well. I think most of the worries are around um, the difference in perhaps in cultures that the school might have and the, and the destination that they're going to. You know, we don't always get it right, but it's about being open and transparent with one another. This new model, the new transition programmes have the reason why they're different is because we have created a kind of platform for them to grow and that platform consists of networks, meetings, we have level one progression meetings, we have, we've tried to create more opportunities for partners to meet and discuss when things go wrong, when there's any challenges, we've been able to kind of iron those out. We have volunteers from the world of work from a wide range of uh, sectors right from city companies through to vocational areas, mechanics, um, health and social care, a any sector is represented in the programmes that we run. The idea is to um, create a, a kind of a menu of activities that, that and, and options for young, for young people. On Tuesday I do dancing with them and teach them what to do. And on Monday I stay in the playing ground with them and watch just keep an eye on them. Careers advice in schools at the moment it very much focuses on you know the traditional industries and um, it's kind of linked very closely to college courses that are provided um, and actually especially in Hackney you know there's a real creative buzz in the area at the moment so making sure that where possible um, young people from Hackney are connected with those opportunities. Where else have we been on fashion for the we world? Went to, um, we went to, in fashion and textiles, we went to a place in Hackney called Burberry and we saw like how much it cost, that we're working on how much it worth for and how much would you be budget for. They got a feeling of what skills they might require in that area, they got an understanding of what the work looks like. Um, and they also got an understanding of what the environment would be like. So timetabling in um, from the very beginning, uh, you know, the parental engagement, timetabling in um, an introduction to the programme, followed by um, exact taster sessions of what you're going to be doing, and, and in our case, sustained relationships with young people through mentoring. So as soon as kind of one school takes up a project, we then generally hear from another teacher at another school that says, oh, I'd really like to run this with my students as well. Um, it's really nice to see the students engaging with the project and making it. And we can make sure that, okay, they're with us for a year, but we're not, that's not the end of it. We'll oversee how they're doing, we'll help them into the year 13 course, see how they're doing on the year 13 course, and make sure there's a clear pathway for them so that at the end of it, they're going to get employment. Well, we started here uh, the 27th of February to the 1st of May we finish at the shop house. Um, at the moment we're just working up like hell here. Yeah, we're just working like hell. Once they get to the end of year 12, uh, we'll support them to hopefully be full-time students at B6 in year 13, where they will ideally progress onto uh, level two, if not level three, provision within the college. So, basically, the whole of this process is based on teamwork. So if you don't do teamwork, you won't get the job done. Yep. Because even though I believe that this model has been re really successful, we've also got to understand that in the coming months, years, um, the job market is changing, the skill sectors, the skills that businesses actually want is changing. Um, so adapting the model so it's flexible enough and lean enough to respond to the needs of both the students and both um, the job market out there. Money, the dosh. 
Make your own business. Get some gas money. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, get get money because when we're in the future we can get a job in the now. Actually, if anyone can't do it, we can. Yeah.